The idea of taking a vacation or a trip can be daunting if you are a senior who has limited mobility. Maybe the thought of trying to get around with a cane or a walker or a wheelchair just seems like too difficult of a task. And so you put off those vacation plans. But really, there are so many ways that you can get out there and enjoy yourself. So I am here today with 10 vacation ideas for seniors with limited mobility. Hi, it's Robin with SeniorSafetyAdvice.com. Tune into our channel for tips and hints for seniors and caregivers about aging in place safely. So the first and most obvious trip that you could take would be to do something like a cruise. If you're not an ocean person, if the idea of getting out there on the big sea <laughs> scares you a little bit, if you're worried about seasickness, well, first of all, I've taken, I don't know, 15 cruises and I've never had a problem. And my husband had a problem once with it when we were leaving San Francisco and we hit some rough waters. And that's the only time in all of the trips that we've taken. But if you are somebody who doesn't necessarily want to do an ocean cruise, there are also plenty of river, river cruises. You can do them in Europe. I know you've seen them advertised, but they also have river cruises here in the U.S. that go up the Mississippi River. Um, there are river cruises in the Great Lakes and things like that as well. But the nice thing about cruises is that when you're on a cruise ship, they all have elevators. They all have ramps to help you get on and off. I don't know if you were aware of it, but you can actually get a wheelchair that you borrow if you don't have your own. If you're, in other words, if you're somebody walking with a cane or with a walker, you can actually borrow a wheelchair from the cruise line to go on and off the ship. So you don't even have to worry about trying to get on if the, the gangway is moving or anything like that. Another suggestion is that if you are somebody who has um, uses a cane or uses a walker and you're afraid of something as big as a cruise ship, you can rent wheelchairs before you even go on the cruise or on wherever, whatever trip you're going to take. So do bear that in mind as well. Maybe it's not something that you would need every day, but they can certainly come in handy for somebody who's taking a trip for a week or a couple of days or whatever to, you know, not have to worry about uneven terrain or things like that and you can still get out there and enjoy yourself. Idea number two is to make sure that you go to a larger city that has a variety of museums. Maybe Chicago, that leaps to mind because there's a natural history museum, there's an art museum, there's you know different things about the city itself. All the major cities have a, have a series of museums like that. Um, my daughter and I were in New York less than a year ago, and we went to probably five museums on anything that you could think of. Uh, the Tenement Museum, which showed you how life was in New York when people were first immigrating. Um, if you go to Washington, D.C., obviously there are millions of Smithsonian's that are dedicated to different things, um, different varieties. Like for another, in other words, <laughs> there's one on air and space travel. There's one on um, trying to think science, things like that. There's a spy museum in Washington, DC. I mean, so going to a, a city like that, you would have so many things that you could see and do. Vacation idea number three is to go to the beach. So I know you're thinking, go to the beach, but if I'm using my walker or my wheelchair, I'll never get across the sand. Aha, but that is where you are wrong because many beaches have areas where you can actually rent a wheelchair that will take you, that you know, will go travel on sand. And so you can get across the beach to a cabana or sitting under a tree, something like that, and you can enjoy the ocean. Other places, for example, in Hollywood, Florida, which is a um, little bit south of Fort Lauderdale, a little north of Miami, they have what they call a broadwalk. It's a um, sometimes cement and sometimes wooden type of a walkway. It's lined with restaurants and shops and little bars and things like that. It walks, it's right along the ocean. You can actually rent a wheelchair there so you could go up and down that broadwalk with your relatives and you could enjoy the beach. 
Also, I should point out that in some places, in California, for example, if you want to go to the beach, they will even rent you a um, powered mobility scooter type of a thing. So you definitely can go to the beach with limited mobility. The next thing that I'm thinking of as far as limited mobility would be to visit national parks. So national parks, many of them you can drive through, Glacier leaps to mind, um, Yellowstone, and a lot of them have areas that you can go to even with limited mobility, getting out of a car or whatever. For example, using Yellowstone as an example, you can actually go to see Old Faithful in a wheelchair or if you were using a walker, they've made that accessible. The visitor centers in the national parks are generally accessible. A lot of times, also um, places like uh, Grant Village in Yellowstone, they also have places where you can go with limited mobility. So you can get out there with an America the Beautiful Pass and enjoy our lovely national parks. Number five on my list of vacation ideas for people with limited mobility is to visit botanic gardens. So there again, the major cities have botanical gardens. So if we go back to what we were talking about as far as like Chicago, you can find botanical gardens. I'm thinking of the one that I went to in Washington, D.C. Beautiful, and they had elevators, so you could go to different levels. Um, Atlanta Botanic Gardens, same kind of thing. There are um, walkways that are cement covered. You could easily push a wheelchair or use a walker. Again, most of the botanic gardens have provisions that you can rent or borrow a wheelchair. Um, they have them all over the world too. So don't limit yourself to just the United States. Montreal, for example, in Canada has a beautiful botanic garden and they have accessible areas for people who have limited mobility. They even have a garden for people who are sight impaired or blind. It's a braille garden and it's got a lot of um, signage in braille and you can experience that whether you are site challenged or not because they've got a lot of fragrant flowers so that you can smell them and plants you can touch. So again, botanical gardens, think about that. Number six on my list of vacation ideas is to do a bus tour. So a bus tour sounds like a lot of hustle and bustle, but it really depends on the bus tour. I was just in Iceland. It was absolutely amazing. We took a bus tour and saw a lot of the island. And we had many seniors on our tour with limited mobility. Um, in all honesty, I did not see anybody on the tour who needed a wheelchair. However, there were several people who were using canes and walkers. The difficult part about a bus tour is that you have very steep steps that you have to get up and get down. But if you think you could manage those even slowly, which several of the people really had to take quite a while to get on or off the bus, you can enjoy the sights of a beautiful place like Iceland. So don't limit yourself. Number seven that I'm thinking about is to take a local boat tour. So I used to live in Fort Lauderdale. There are several types of boat tours that you can take there. They have water taxis that will take you from place to place throughout part of the city. They have boats, there's a paddle wheel boat that will take you up the river on a tour and you can see the sights and all of the gazillion dollar mansions that none of us can afford. <laughs> but many cities that have a water access have tours like that. So that is something that you could check into. Number eight on my list is to do something that is maybe a music or show entertainment type themed vacation. So you could go to Nashville, for example, and you could take in the Grand Old Opry. You could go to New York and take in several of the Broadway shows. You could go to Branson, Missouri or to Las Vegas where they have quite a few things that are entertainment based shows and then also a lot of touristy areas that you know where you can do something like the Titanic exhibit. Again, this would be a place where maybe you would want to bring your own wheelchair if you're somebody who needs a walker or a cane and you know you're going to have some problems walking a long distance. But these types of vacations are totally doable. 
Number nine vacation idea is to do a, go to a city that has city tours, like hop on, hop off buses, or like in Savannah, they offer trolley tours. Again, there's a little bit of having to get on and off that bus or that trolley. So you need to be able to walk up and down a couple of steps. But as long as you can do that, many of the larger cities offer these type of tours and they're a great way to get from one place to another, see a lot of the sites. And last on this particular list is all-inclusive resorts. I have done several in Mexico. They're beautiful. You get off the plane, the resort picks you up at the airport, they take you directly there. You are, you stay in this beautiful, lush, at least in Mexico, <laughs> beautiful, lush resort that has everything you could possibly want. It's beachfront, so you have access to the beach. They have swimming pools. They have beautiful garden paths. Just like on a cruise ship, you can probably eat your way 24 hours a day through the day. <laughs> so there are a lot of things. And they usually will have activities and things like that as well. These type of vacations and cruises are good if you want to do something that's a family vacation and you're trying to include several generations. One time we did a family cruise um, and we had everybody, and my daughter, I think, and niece were maybe 12 at the time and my parents were in their 80s. There was something for everybody. So all-inclusive resorts and or back to the river cruises and the ocean cruises are a great way to go if you have limited mobility, and also if you're trying to get the family together for a reunion or just to spend time together. Now, these are not the end of the ideas that we have at SeniorSafetyAdvice.com, but this is the end of what I'm going to talk about on this particular video. So I am going to post a link down below to the article that we have, which is actually currently 23 ideas for seniors with limited mobility. Also, if you don't mind, if you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up because that helps us to stay higher in the algorithms for YouTube and that way more people will see our helpful videos. And also, if you haven't done so yet, please take a minute to click the subscription button down in the corner here and also the notification bell. And that way you will not miss any of our informative videos when we release them. So thank you very much for watch, watching this video, and I hope you have a lovely vacation no matter what you decide to do. Until the next video, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.